your point is an elephant. Hey, how's it going, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Benji's Lords and Whatnots. We are back at it again for another episode. I hope everyone's having a fantastic day or night, depending on where you guys are in the world and what time you guys are watching this video. It's been a while since I've said that. <laughs> uh, I tell you what, guys, I am in for a rough ride for the next few days. As you would have seen with the picture, I have tested positive for COVID-19. So... I uh, went to work this morning, I was feeling a bit off, um, nasally, fever, and uh, tickly throat. So I said to the boss, look, I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm not feeling too well. <clears throat> I don't wanna come into the office just in case that I've got something that uh, you know, may potentially be something that'll knock the whole crew off. So I initially tested myself this morning with a saliva uh, rad test, tested negative. And then after I left work this morning, I went and got myself the one that goes up the nose and voila, I've tested good old positive that way. So that just goes to prove on the accuracy of some of the rad tests that, um, that you can get via the chemist and everything else in between. So uh, yeah, so I'm definitely not looking forward to the next few days i'm not feeling too bad at the moment <clears throat> a little raspy in the throat scratchy slight runny nose and uh that's about it at this given time but who knows what will happen in the next uh five to ten days it uh might get worse might get better i don't know but i'll keep you guys in the loop on how we go so here's the two tests that we done this morning that's the first one as you can see there's only just one singular line there that's the saliva test uh it obviously came back negative and then here's the other one as you can clearly see there's two lines within the very uh, very thing itself so that just goes to prove on the accuracy of the saliva one's not so good these ones are a bit better there's probably about a 40 percent accuracy with those but still that came as clear as day so really the only thing that we're going to be doing is chillaxing i've got plenty of water in here i'm not overly hungry at the moment i am a little bit hungry but not to the point where i'm starving i tried to eat something this morning but that never really went down well to be honest it was just ugh. couldn't 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 stomach it to be honest with you but uh had a few coffees so that's more than enough to uh keep us going for the time being i might go and try and cook something up well not cook something up but get some uh get some soup going just like the normal the satchel stuff that you get from the uh, iga or whatever just so that we've got a little bit of calorie in our system so that we don't uh, don't pass out from the lack of food and calories and such. But to be honest with you, I don't really need any more calories than what we've got. Funny thing was, I kind of started feeling a bit funny last night in the head. <clears throat> Had a few beers and didn't feel like the normal fuzzy feeling that you'd usually get. Uh, didn't feel like the normal drunkenness, if you know what I mean. It felt very weird. Uh, it just felt like my head was so light. It was weird, very weird. Um, yeah, um, I was up probably every hour on the hour. Not so much needing to go to the toilet, but just hot. Uh, I do sleep under that uh, doona right there. I do have a little fan sitting right there. I usually had that blaring, and uh, that what that didn't seem to be doing a damn thing, to be absolutely honest. But that's all right. It's there to uh, keep us, or keep the head warm, cold. I can't even think straight. It's only the first day of being really sick. Uh, I wonder how I'm going to feel tomorrow. I'm already feeling pretty uh, 
Ugh. Weird. <laughs> and with all the two tests that we had earlier today, the saliva one that we used this morning came back negative, as you guys would have seen. And then I had the one that goes up the nose that came back positive. So 90% of the time you'll find with a lot of these um, antigen, whatever they're called, AG19 or whatever things that they're called, they only have a 40% accuracy. So majority of the time if you keep getting negatives with it, you have to go to the proper testing sites where they've got the proper stuff. But <clears throat> I was a bit surprised that um, yeah, we uh, tested positive this morning because three days with having these um, coughing sort of nosy problems that wasn't really normal to be honest so yeah that's a bit of a shock to the system to be honest because it started with mum then it came to me this morning and dad testing as well so it was bound to happen really it uh, as the saying goes you can't run from something f indefinitely because there's going to be a time where it's going to get you one way or another it's like that um you can either stand and fight or die fighting or die tired uh, sort of thing so unfortunately we uh <laughs> We weren't really fighting it to begin with. It just really sucks that we uh, happened to get COVID right before we start our second week at work. Uh, I would have started me second week today at eight o'clock this morning, but um, yeah, it's just um, an unfortunate event. I was honest with her. I, I did go in to work and I was sitting in the car thinking, nah, something's not right. Something is definitely not right in this situation. So I would just walk to the front front thing, front door, and said, look, I feel like I'm coming down with something. And um, like, I don't want to risk, you know, coming into work and contaminating the place. Cause, you know, it's just a rude thing to do. And it's a bit of a bummer. Kind of looks bad on me, but, she, uh, she, I think she's still pretty happy with us at the moment because I made that effort to go in regardless of being sick or not. But it was the right thing to do of saying, look, I don't think it's wise to go in and do the day. I'd love to, but it's a bit silly to do so because obvious reasons, COVID's a pain in the ass and you don't know what it's gonna do to people. I honestly don't know how hard it's gonna affect me on, uh, the next few days but I must admit though guys tonight has turned out to be a bloody good night there's hardly any wind around the sun's obviously past the horizon be nice to sort of have the fire going too it's a nice temperature for it bloody nice temperature for it uh, next question would be on how quick it would make me sweat <laughs> to be absolutely honest with you guys I honestly thought I would have uh, lost my uh, sense of smell and uh, sense of taste, but so far I've still got both for now. The question would be on how quick it will uh, be gone. Whether it'll be gone tomorrow or be gone on Wednesday, because it is currently Monday right now in this part of the video. So we are trying to minimize the amount of stuff that we leave on the surfaces. We are, like, I know, I know what you're gonna say. There's no point in bloody wearing masks inside and spraying the place down every now and then. But you know, it's just that little precaution that we're using. Um, well, considering that all three of us are, as you would say, contaminated at the moment. So yeah. Either way, we've got to keep up with uh, making sure that we don't have any virus on the on the surfaces man I'm really out of breath for some ungodly reason it's probably because I'm not used to wearing the mask anymore it's probably why
Uh, good morning, everybody. This is what we're sounding like on the second day. I will admit I've been coughing all bloody night. My knees are hurting, my hips are hurting, my lower back's hurting. Oh, I've just taken some pain pills and the inhaler just to help us breathe. We're, uh, as you would have seen, 33 degrees Celsius at the moment, so I'm not feeling overly too hot, but holy crap. It honestly feels like there's a massive pressure on my head. And yeah, as you can tell with the voice, it's not doing that great. So yeah, I'm gonna go out the back and uh, get some fresh air. I think that's the best thing to do right now. Because I've been sleeping, or not sleeping, but lying on my bed for the last few hours. Because we wake up at about seven, it's now 9.30, so gonna run out the back and have a bit of a uh, bit of fresh air man it's really bloody nice out here it's too damn nice to be sitting at home sick should be out fishing or something like that or even out for a hike take the drone out to the Lady Dirt National Park let it fly around that would be sick getting those whole drone shots of the creek and the walkways and all that sort of stuff that would be insane in the membrane oh, I think after this sickness we're going to be doing a lot more of that I've come to realise being obese whilst being sick is not fun it's uh, I believe it's a lot worse because of my size it's only the second day of being positive and I can almost guarantee you tomorrow is going to be potentially a lot worse so we'll see how it goes then too because who knows who knows what will bloody happen so on a little side note though guys we've got a little nest as you guys would have seen a while back just outside this door here there's a couple of bubbers sitting in the um, nest I don't want to get too close to them but you can probably just barely see them peeking over the uh, Peeking over the side there, but I'm not going to be annoying them too much because I don't want mum to come and attack us. But uh, there's two little babies in there. I've got a photo on my phone which I'll upload to you, you guys after this little segment so you guys can see what they used to look like um, before this stage. This is probably about a week's difference between the photo and what you guys would have just seen. I'll see if I can take a still photo of that. Not right now, but yeah, I'll uh, take a still photo of that. Enhance it for you guys so you can see it a little bit better. Uh, but anyways, we need to get out and have a little bit of a walk around the yard. Try and uh, get the blood flowing again in the legs because We've been doing nothing but sitting inside and uh, lying on our beds. At this stage of the sickness, you can tell I'm still fairly clogged up in the throat. And uh, at the moment, head feels really weird. Eyes feel really weird. And uh, I just feel weak. Like, um, not lethargic, but just just really tired all the time and weak. I don't know if you guys can tell with the eyes, but yeah, eyes are really weird. This COVID thing is not bullshit whatsoever. It is a real deal. I know a lot of people are gonna say, ah, oh, it's just like the flu. No, it's not. It's worse, much worse. As you can tell with the talking, it's a thousand times worse. <laughs> and the coughing it feels like you're breaking a rib each time that like you do it oh. I'm going to have to go and have a lie down after this oh. I'm so wrecked I'm so tired I kind of figured something was wrong Sunday Sunday was when we really knew something was wrong right now the best description I can explain is <clears throat> Just like having sleep paralysis. That's how your head feels. It's like right in between sleep 
and being awake. You're aware, but you can't do anything, but you still feel that sort of feeling. It's a really weird feeling, really weird. Oh, I'm definitely gonna have to lie down. Oh my God, I would not wish to have this on anybody, even my worst enemy. There is no way that I'd want this on anyone. No way. You know, even though that we get a bit of a hot flush every now and then, I got myself a little temperature gun, which sitting down at the end of the bed, it always shoots at about 34 degrees. So, even though I'm feeling hot, I'm not feeling that bad. Oh, I really need to have a bit of a nap right now. Even though it's only seven o'clock at night, I just can't do it. I just need to. <laughs> oh, I gotta laugh at people that say that uh, COVID's a joke. Well, people that say that, obviously, haven't had it that bad. This is kicking the shit out of me, guys. It really is. Splitting headaches across the front, hot flushes, coughing, tiredness, and a very stuffy nose. Now, well, it's actually a mix between being stuffy and runny at the moment. But for now, I'm gonna put the camera down so I can lie down. Wednesday has finally arrived, guys, and as you guys can tell, I'm feeling a lot better than what I was beforehand. Still feeling a little bit tight in the chest, do still have a bit of a cough and a bit of a claggy nose, but we are a thousand times better than what we were before. Well, not a thousand times better, but a hundred times better than what we were. Uh, still sweaty, still get hot, hot flushes. Uh, I do unfortunately don't have any sense of smell at the moment and my sense of taste is minimal at the moment. So we can taste a little bit, but not much. So whether or not we get our sense of taste back and sense of smell is going to be debatable at this point. But at this point, I can't smell anything and barely taste anything. So yeah, but we're feeling better. That's the main thing. It's funny how when you get something on Monday, by Wednesday you're feeling a little bit better or worse. I don't know. Um, hits everyone differently. Uh, for mum, it uh, basically on the third day she was, it was really bad. But mind you, she did. She does have asthma, so that didn't exactly help. But we are feeling better. That's the main thing, and that's what we're aiming for for tomorrow. So all we're going to do is keep up with the uh, Panadol, the inhalers with a spacer, the Panadol antihistamines, all that fun stuff, and uh, resting up when we need to rest up. Uh, we did have a bit of a lie down yesterday, and I tell you what, that I think that helped big time. Tell you what though guys, <clears throat> this experience with COVID is very unique in its own way. Uh, the feeling is completely different than having the flu, completely different than having a cold, and completely different than having hay fever. It's um, a very unique feeling, and... Um, yeah, I, w I would not recommend giving this to anybody, even if it's my worst enemy. Uh, it's, uh, I don't know what sort of long-term effects it's going to have on me. Uh, at the moment, I, I don't have any sense of smell or taste at the moment. So that's a very unique experience in itself. I'm still coughing up uh, half a lung at the best of times. Not only that, I'm still getting a very runny nose and um, everything else in between. So, um, yeah, well, all I can really say to anybody is just be careful out there. Um, they, a lot of people do think this is a joke, but it's not. It, it's not a joke, guys, it's, it's for real. It's, um, um, it, it's, I, I can't really explain it in, in words that, um, in my own words, I can't explain it to be absolutely honest with you. Because you do get a mix between hot flushes and feeling cold. Uh, majority of the time I feel warm as it were. Um, my temperature does go up something quick, especially at night. It's um, At the moment it's pretty warm outside regardless, so that's probably why I'm currently sweating at the moment. But yeah, it's, it's a unique feeling because you, you get temperature doing this 
you know sometimes it's going to be hot and cold and hot and cold depending on you know what you're doing what you're wearing uh, majority of the time i wear that poncho that you guys may have seen me wear and probably a video back maybe um but yeah it's it's a very weird feeling because occasionally you do get lightheaded um you do occasionally get uh stuffy head yeah, it's a it's a mix a little weird fact about it is you do lose your appetite something chronic monday i try to have an egg and sausage muffin from hungry jacks or burger king if you will and i couldn't eat it could not eat it i do love egg and bacon just, um egg and sausage or egg and bacon muffins from mcdonald's or burger king slash hungry jacks really into that sort of stuff it's quick easy i love the savory taste of it and the cheesy taste that comes with it but this time around i just could not eat it i, I don't know what it was I, I don't know if it was because i didn't have an appetite or just something about it was i wasn't into it you know you know when you like have some food and you, you can either enjoy it and you get really into it or you take one taste and it's just like Bleh. it was a bit like that with the egg and sausage bloody muffin that we had that on monday and then on tuesday we had this really weird feeling in our head it wasn't it wasn't a pressure it wasn't like being groggy or anything it's just it was like being lightheaded and dizzy at the same time um yeah it was really weird it was really really weird and even tuesday i didn't have an appetite and you know i only had probably two or three things yesterday um today i did have a little bit more of an appetite but unfortunately i don't have any sense of taste or smell at the moment so no matter what I eat, it's not, it, I can't taste it, I can't smell it. I honestly thought that the uh, no sense of smell, no sense of taste would have come earlier than, you know, the third day into being positive for the good old C word. I, I, I sensed that it was coming earlier than Monday. Um, the symptoms that I got was, it, it, I, I felt it in the back of my nose. Um, majority of the time it um it felt like i had a good night good night sleep of snoring um you get that sort of soreness in the back of your nose that's really one of the big symptoms that you got to keep an eye out for is that sense of uh feeling on the back of the nose and a slight scratchy throat like a uh, tickle you get that tickle in like I got a tickle right there at the moment, which is probably right where the lungs split into two, into the, or the, uh, whatever you call the windpipe down here, sort of where it splits into two. Oh, oh here we go. Coughing fits about to come. <coughs> oh, and the watery eyes, holy frig. Being out here, like, you don't realize on how sensitive everything gets like the eyes get really sensitive you know the sense of the temperature you get really sensitive with that uh for me i get really sensitive with the heat worse than i usually get because i don't handle the heat that well at the best of times <laughs> Ugh. And sometimes the coughing fits will uh, get to the point where you lose your lunch. Ugh. Unfortunately, it uh, hasn't happened yet where I have lost my lunch. But, yeah, the more you talk, the drier your throat gets and the more you want to cough. And that's another thing I've noticed as well is the... Um, if you don't drink enough water you just get really really dry in the in the mouth and the throat and you just feel dried out like a sandbag full of dry sand it's a really effed up feeling um 
you know, it's weird because at the moment, nose is fine. I can guarantee in about half an hour's time, nose is either going to be blocked or runny. Uh, it, it, it fluctuates between three things, being clear, being runny, or being blocked. I notice that especially at night, especially when you lie down, nose gets blocked. So what I've been doing, whenever I get a chance, is I have a little walk down there, along there, other side of there, between the caravan and shed. I come up the stairs, come along here. I do probably about two laps of that, just to get a little bit of exercise, which I'm about to go and do that now. Cause, uh, yeah, um, with this new job that I've been doing, it, it, it does require you to be on your feet all day, or majority of the day, except for lunch. You get about half an hour, so. But uh, yeah, I'm, I wonder how I'm gonna be when I go back to work, because I don't say I get shortness of breath, um, but I do feel a majority, uh, so, uh, occasionally, occasionally, I feel out of breath. Like, I could just be sitting on, on me, computer chair in my room and all of a sudden I just for whatever reason it doesn't matter what I'm doing it could be just sitting there watching YouTube or playing my video games and all of a sudden it's just bang it happens but the biggest things is obviously the coffin fits uh, you do get quite a lot of those unfortunately but I've been pretty lucky um, so is dad and mum they've um, both had uh, the inhaler which I have as well and we yeah usually have that a couple of times a day and that does help big time talk about bloody sweats too guys my god no matter what you do you could be sitting on uh, I, nine times out of ten I just sit there as you guys would know and you know it could be ten degrees outside and all of a sudden you just lather a sweat it's worse when uh, we go to bed at night, because I usually have a little fan going, which is that little thing right there. It's still going at the moment, so, you know, I haven't turned it off yet. But, uh, yeah, uh, I'll have that going. That doesn't do deadly squat, because by the morning, by 9 o'clock in the morning, just sweats whew, all through, all the way through. It's crazy. I do not know what to do because you, you get too cold you're gonna cough you get too hot you get too sweaty <sighs> i don't know i honestly don't know but i am on the road to recovery though that's the main thing at this given time all i can really do is just drink plenty of water which we've been doing because we've got probably an easy gallon worth of water right there and right there so that's about four liters or a gallon and a bin full of uh toilet paper <laughs> toilet paper the easiest thing to do is get a roll of toilet paper uh, so you can lay your nose whenever you get a chance that's all I've been doing so yeah, it's been a interesting last couple of days I can tell you that yesterday was the worst day for us I just felt so lethargic so thick I think thick is probably the proper word for uh, for, for it it's not like brain being thick like stupid thick uh, you just feel puffy you just feel giddy you just feel so dry so uncomfortable is really uncomfortably thick is the best way that I can describe it but anyways guys I'm, I'm gonna sit back and relax uh, I need to get rid of this fucking virus sooner rather than later uh, more I sit here and talk the more I'm gonna cough so I'm going to say my goodbyes for now. Uh, I do hope the next video that we put out there, if we put any more out, is a little bit more joyful. Uh, a little bit better than, you know, me being stuck in the house for a week. And hopefully we can get out there. Because once we test negative, which I'm hoping to be Friday, but who knows we can get out there and do something uh, I've been wanting to do something tonight for a while but whether we are able to get out there or not is going to be another thing but for now guys I will say goodbye thanks for watching, thanks for being a part of it 
and I hope that this virus doesn't stick around for too much longer because we would like to get out there. But until the next time, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being you guys and everything else in between. So until the next time, guys, keep it easy.